is now a good time to become a software engineer that's a very valid question because in 2023 200,000 people were laid off from the tech workforce so people who now want to become software engineers are now competing with people who were laid off from the workforce which is crazy because the job market is absolutely bonkers right now there are basic things you need to know how to do like learning how to code and i have a separate video for that in this video i'm going to be giving you top secret advice on how to set yourself apart if you are aspiring to become a software engineer today trust me in this economy you need to watch this video make sure you tailor your learning and your projects so i started working on the google maps team two years ago and when i joined i learned how to code java which is good because now i use java to like write code a lot but in today's economy don't just decide to like learn a random programming language that no one cares about or no one is using when you're learning something ask yourself is this useful am i enjoying this and does this have potential for the future because there are lots of industries in tech that might not exist two to three years from now. Essentially, software engineers build software to replace their jobs, which when I think about is, is just a very funny thing to think about. You have like careers like full stack software engineers, which I think would always be useful because no matter what you do, you need engineers that could like read that code, understand that code and maintain that code. So think about like industries in tech that would be useful 10, 15 years from now and try to make sure you gather and acquire skills around those industries. Top secret advice number two. In this economy, it's not about being smart. It's not about being the most intelligent. Are you someone people would like to work with? You can be the smartest person in the room, but if people can't stand you, your career is probably going to flop, right? Soft skills are very important. Are you a leader? Are you someone who uplifts your teammates? I'm not saying you should go ahead and become a team comedian or something, but there are people who are just like enemies of progress, you know, like they are not supportive on the team. They bring people down. Are you a problem solver? I think in today's economy, that can set you aside from someone who is super smart no matter how smart you think you are i think chat gpt is smarter right that thing knows everything um in this day and age and in this economy you really really have to prioritize your soft skills and that brings me to the next point which is building your personal brand like i know people who have gotten jobs simply because they went on linkedin and they said I want to get a job. I mean, maybe not like that, but they went on LinkedIn, they made a very thoughtful post about like the job market and someone from nowhere just like, this person seems cool and give them a job. You can't sit down and wait for things to fall on your lap. You really have to go out there and put yourself out there. Whether it be LinkedIn, YouTube, whether it be even your college campus or wherever you are, just like making sure you're known, making sure people are aware about what you're doing, because you can't give yourself a job. <laughs> I mean, it's possible you can be an entrepreneur, but you want to have projects. You want to have a portfolio. What have you done? People always ask me, Chiso, how am I expected to get experience to get a job when no one wants to give me a job? Employers want you to have 10 years of experience and you know, no one wants to give you a job. This is where advice number three comes in building your personal brand you don't need a full-time job to be the, to build your personal brand you can build a website you can work on projects put them on github put them on youtube employers need to trust you enough to believe that once they give you the job you're gonna get it done right it's a game of trust there are 10 people in the job market everyone is super intelligent everyone has a resume everyone has things they've built what would set you aside from those people right it's a very competitive a very tight job market i know people who just post on linkedin and the post just like somehow blows up <laughs> and they're getting job offers from many places be your own advocates period that's just it speak out for yourself go out and get what you want people always ask me chisom do you see yourself starting a company or being an entrepreneur or being a founder and I say, hell yeah, hell yeah. Every software engineer, whether you want to start a company or not for XYZ reason, 
need to have, have that mindset. You need to have that mindset of like ownership, problem solving, of leadership thing, because those are the skills that make you progress in your career faster. When it comes to like writing code, I mean, anyone can write code today. I mean, once you have access to Gemini or ChatGPT, you can just code your way through anything. But what sets your side is your interpersonal communication and leadership skills. So that is secret advice number four. Secret advice number five is the good old, the good old networking. Networking can come in different shapes, can come in different forms. I always like to say it's important to, to do intentional networking. Like for example, okay, I want to be a software engineer. You need to know at least two software engineers. <laughs> you need to have someone you can ask questions. You need to have someone you can get advice from. You need to just be plugged in to that industry. It's very important you find the right group of people in whatever medium. That's a very good way to approach uh, being a software engineer in this economy. And yeah, finally, the most important, important secret advice number six is the only way you actually grow is when you make mistakes. It's when you look back and I was like, oh, wow, I got rejected six times. But on the seventh time, I didn't give up, I got accepted, right? Keep up the grind, keep working hard, keep putting in the work, keep doing your best. Just to reiterate what I said, tailor your projects and your learning, build your personal brand while also thinking like an entrepreneur and make sure you go out there and network with the right people. Once you are able to achieve all those things or are able to apply all those things, and of course you have your coding fundamentals in place so you would succeed even if no one out there wants to hire you you can go out there and you'll be good enough to create your own company to create your own business to start your own thing to solve your own problems just don't give up keep putting in the work and in the end you'll be proud of all the time you've spent all the hard work that no one sees everything you're doing you'll be proud of it I really hope this video was useful. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have some tech and like lifestyle related content on there. Let me know if you have any advice. What is your story? Like, what are your thoughts? Like, feel free to share them in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video.